Good evening, everyone. This is Suresh Kumar from uh, Zebu on uh, weekly update. Today was a wild day. Uh, first, we'll see what happened today. Um, after that, we'll have a brief, uh, very brief uh, update on what happened throughout the week. Okay, first thing first. If you have any doubts about uh, any of the activities that has happened in the stock market uh, uh, within this last week or uh, week before, please write us in the uh, YouTube uh, comment uh, section. We'll be seeing that and answering those questions too. Okay, good day. So let's go and see what has happened today in the market. Daily, uh, we have to see the daily market within the five minutes uh, chart frame. You see that uh, market was subdued in the morning. It was in the negative territory for a while, even though the market uh, was indicating that at least the SGS indicate um, Nifty was indicating that market is going to open on the higher side. But the market opened a little subdued and then it was negative for a while. And then it took steam and then it kept on going up and it didn't look back. And there was a pullback in the end uh, towards the market end. But uh, that's about it. Market end uh, close to about 98 points higher than the yesterday's close. So what has made the market rally after when considering the uh, volatile markets in the days earlier is that the US CPI, that is a uh, um, inflation for American markets, has come lower than the expectation. Only 0.1% is a little lower than the expectation. That raised the hope that Fed, that Federal Reserve may not continue increasing the rates because the inflation, it seemed like inflation is under control for the US markets, uh, US economy. So they may not increase the rate or if the, the best of the circumstances, they might even reduce the interest rate after a little while. So that was bullish for the markets, anti-markets, and uh, that was the reason why the markets went up. Initially, it went up in the international market. It went up for a while and then uh, settled down uh, because there is only one measure. You need to have at least one more measure uh, at a later point to find out whether the reduction in the inflation is here to stay or there is going to be an inflationary economy uh, still further. That is the reason why the uh, market was kind of uh, positive but subdued. People are expecting a lot further uh, bullish reaction but didn't uh, happen. So that about uh, the US markets and the Indian market and the yesterday's. But Bitcoin gained steam because of uh, um, um, fall in the inflation, then probably Fed, as we discussed before, the Fed might uh, uh, reduce their uh, hawk, hawkish stance and become a little more dovish. If there is to be money supply again coming back to the market, then uh, the risk on assets like uh, uh, other speculative assets like uh, Bitcoin and other speculative assets might rise up in price. So that is the reason why Bitcoin went up very high yesterday. It was a uh, brief high. We need to wait till Monday to find out whether this will be sustained or not. So people are expecting similar thing to happen in Indian market, but it didn't happen in the beginning. But uh, for some reason or other, it was open lower. But there was always an expectation that since there is a there is a chance for the global market to turn around and uh, come out of the recession, or uh, people haven't actually announced that there is a recession. So uh, to come out of the assumed recession. So people are expecting the market to be a little more bullish. So we had a suspicion that that fall in the market in the um, uh, morning was a bear trap and it played out as we have guessed it to be. So market went up and uh, people who were uh, shorting calls were uh, caught in the wrong foot and uh, people who bought put also to an extent they would be facing losses but not that much loss as a call writer would have been. The market went up and it closed around uh, 17,950. So it closed very, very high today. If you were to look at the daily candle for uh, today, you would see that highest point for today is uh, 7,999.35. So the psychological barrier of 18,000 remains intact. It was not taken down by the bulls today. So it went and touched almost that point and then it closed around uh, 
50 points down there from there, 40, 46, 44 points down from there, it closed around 17,956. So there is a psychological barrier that is still holding uh, true, at least in the short term, that 18,000 is going to be a hard uh, resistance level for people to, uh, so the bears to hold on to. And uh, if the bull has to take control of the market, then probably they have to break that 18,000 and the Monday and to close it above 18,000 for the market to have some steam uh, to go further. So that's about that. And uh, Bank Nifty, almost similar when compared to the Nifty. If I just look at the one hour graph, you will see that uh, these two trace the, these two trace the uh, Nifty almost to the letter T. So that is how the Nifty also, Bank Nifty also played out. So, if you want to see the sectoral indices, how the market behaved for the day. First, we'll discuss what happened with the day, and then we'll go to the uh, weekly update on what happened with the day. So, it was uh, in uh, Nifty indexes, it is 0 0.55 up for Nifty and uh, uh, 0.4. There are certain pluses and certain minuses, and uh, VIX is uh, down by about 5.3 percentage. It is uh, around 14.46 now. But uh, volatility is not reflected in these numbers. So uh, be very, very careful when you are uh, holding any position. So sectoral indices, we have to see the thing that went up the highest is uh, Nifty Metal. Uh, and then the second highest is this Nifty High T because of uh, Infosys. Infosys has good, uh, very good numbers. And uh, people are very, very expectant of uh, IT sector to do well because the Bellwether stock and the indicator for how they IT companies are going to give the results is from TCS and Infosys. They both have given decent numbers. Infosys, in fact, are much better than TCS. So people are, again, hopeful about IT companies. Um, then uh, we have to go, the, the only sector, it's even to have a small uh, negative in the sectoral indices is uh, Nifty Pharma. It is at 0.02 percentage, which is not uh, a big deal at all, and then uh, Nifty FMCG again 0 0.02 percentage. 0 0.02 percentage. In the scheme of things, it is nothing much. So market uh, remained where it is, where it was. There, in fact, we'll come to the weekly little later. So if you were to see, um, if you were to see the FA activities for uh, yesterday, because we are yet to get the detail for uh, today. So FAA, cash market, they have sold about 1,662 um, close yesterday. They've been selling and there is a big fight that is going on between uh, bulls and bears and uh, uh, FAS and DAAs. FAS has been dumping the stocks for a while now and the DAAs have been fighting back. DAAs uh, backed by the retail money that is coming through there. SIP route, it's, it, it, is, it is not allowing the market to fall as much as it could have had the FAS been selling as they, used, as they used to in the earlier days. So that is what happening. So yesterday, 1,662, uh, they have sold. In fact, all of this week, they've been only selling. The lowest amount of selling that happened was in uh, uh, January 9th, that is on the Monday, that is, uh, they sold about 203 crores. It was a fast day, so they sold about 203 crores. Otherwise, they've been net seller. So let's go and check in the monthly, how they have done is that one surprising thing, and not so surprising when you see that how the market has behaved. So if you have to see the December, all of the December, so let's go even further down. If you have to see in the November, FAS bought about 22,000 crores. Uh, that was welcome change from uh, uh, September. They have sold about 18,000 crores. And then uh, there was a brief uh, lull where they have sold only 489 crores in the entire month. And then the next month, that is now, where they have actually started buying 22,000 crores they have bought. So people were expecting the market to stand around and the market is going to sustain and go higher. And uh, But it's not to be because December... Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, please forgive me. Um, December, they have sold about 14,231 crores. They have sold 14,000. So almost a 60 percentage of uh, uh, whatever they have bought in the November, they have sold it in December. And then 
January again, in the full month, they were in December, in the full month, they have sold about uh, 14,000 on dot crores. But in January, so far, they have exceeded the full month of selling of December itself. <coughs> sorry, sorry, something's wrong. Uh, sorry. So, January, they have sold about 15,000 crores so far, and it is not even the mid month yet. So, we have to wait and hope that whether the recovery that we have seen is going to sustain for uh, more days or not. Okay. So, that is how it is. Uh, then, uh, if you were to see uh, DAA activities also, let's check uh, how the DAAs are uh, uh, doing in the monthly, when you are checking the monthly. In the last month, the FA sold about uh, uh, 14,000 crore, but uh, our DAAs have our own uh, domestic institutions. They have uh, bought about 24,000 crores, and then uh, this, uh, this month, they have sold, uh, I mean, they have bought about 10,000. 800 crores. So it is compensated. Whatever the FAs are selling, the most of it is being observed by the domestic institutional investor. So we are in a very interesting time. Let's see who blinks first and uh, what is going to happen. So, but uh, how, how is the market is going to behave in uh, the times to come? Uh, last week, uh, it kind of a topsy and turvy. So if you were to go check in the markets again in the, uh, if you were to see it in the Weekly chart, if you were to see it in the uh, weekly, you will see that this MAC Nifty uh, will go with the, it is almost closed at the end, uh, wherever it started the week from. So the weekly chart shows very, very clear. It, is, it, it had, didn't have, even though the market was volatile go, went up and down and sideways and whatnot it didn't all kind of dramas but still ended up almost at the same place see we could see that uh, it opened around uh, 17,950 in the week opened around that place and then uh, it went as is uh, 18,141 that would be about uh, 200 points up and then as low as uh, 760 that is again uh, uh, 200 points down and then closed closed around 17,956, almost at the same level it has closed. So what does it mean? It means that the Nifty had a range of 400 points, but still ended up at the, almost at the same place. So all the uh, intraday, there is uh, all the intraday, uh, most of the days, at least three days, the directional selling uh, uh, option strategies have worked out and given uh, good results on that. Other days, uh, if it is a positional strategy, if uh, people are taking from trading from expiry to expiry, then the positional strategy would have, uh, selling strategy would have given good results because the market ended up almost at the same place where it has begun. So uh, next, this week is up for a toss. Let's see how it uh, behaves this way. So if you were to see the other uh, weeks, earlier weeks also, it had a similar kind of range, but then uh, it was, there was a clear direction. The, the week before it was a negative candle and uh, the week before that was a positive. So it ended up being positive. But this is absolutely without any direction, at least on the, if you were to take a, a long term or a sufficiently uh, medium term uh, uh, weekly, data if we are to see that absolutely without any direction it has closed so let's see what are the stocks that has given uh, uh, which has gained a lot and uh, which are the stocks which has uh, uh, which has uh, fallen a lot let's see if we are to see the gainers in the uh, in the uh, in the weekly in the sectoral indices if we are to see uh, Nifty Metal, it has performed quite well. It went up by about, uh, uh, in fact, it is the Nifty IT, which has performed well. It has moved up by 3.5%. In one of our other videos, we have said that uh, after consulting our financial advisors, uh, check on the IT because uh, every other uh, uh, indices for the year went up quite well and uh, Nifty IT alone was about 26%. So if there is to be a many mean reversal, uh, uh, thing that is happening in the market, then the IT stocks will catch up with the other stocks. So that is a good amount of chance that uh, 
uh, one would do well buying this. So uh, again, you need to consult with your financial advisor before taking any investment decision. So uh, just for an indication. So Nifty Metal, it again went up by about 2.6 percentage and uh, Nifty Auto uh, doing well at 1.6 percentage, particularly with the help of the Tata Motors because uh, it has done well, quite well as an individual stock based on the JLR performance. Uh, it is a good stock to watch out for and uh, uh, if all this sector, uh, these are the sectors that has uh, done well and the things that has done badly are Nifty Consumer Durables and uh, Nifty FMCG which has fallen by about uh, 1 percentage but that is expected, the, the market like this and a 1 percentage uh, is within the range of acceptable variation. So. Uh, this can be accounted just purely based on the volatility itself. So that is how uh, it is happening. And uh, if we are to see the stocks that has given uh, in, the, in this week, in this particular week, the stock that has given uh, a good returns, we have to see in the screen where we show it, let it uh, load. Uh, Tata Motors is the pick of the stocks in the Nifty 50. It is uh, went up by about 6.3 percentage, 6.3 uh, percentage, and then Mahindra and Mahindra again from the uh, uh, automobile uh, sector, auto sector. It is about 6 percentage. Uh, Indalco, as we seen earlier in the metal, uh, in the metal stocks, uh, it went up by about 4 percentage. Uh, cement uh, again in the uh, cement sector and insurance sector, it went up. Tata Steel went up by about 3.3 percentage. IT stocks we have seen in the indexes went up by about 3.23 percentage. Infrastructure, ultra LNT infra, I went up by uh, LNT uh, loss and turbo went up by 3 percentage. And again, the Vedanta is uh, up by about 2.5 percentage. So these are the companies that went uh, high. And uh, how about the companies that uh, stocks that has done bad, I lost the most within the particular week. We have to see, uh, Yes Bank, it fell by about 6 percentage uh, and uh, Titan, the uh, demand was subdued even with the uh, market being open and there was a Diwali season and according for seasonal variations, the, their returns were very, very uh, subdued or the, their uh, profit was subdued, the business was subdued. So. People started questioning about the valuations of the Titan and uh, they started wondering whether if the growth is to slow down, should I pay such a high premium for buying this stock at uh, such a high uh, PE ratio or uh, valuation. So that is one of the reasons and uh, Airtel uh, has fallen uh, about a 5 percentage and Bajaj Finserv also has fallen by about 5.29 percentage on the, about the growth and that is a worrying factor for the company because uh, a big corporate has announced that they will be entering into the NBFC space and then uh, uh, competing with them. So it has that corporate has a capacity to pull this off. They have this management strength and the wit to pull this off. So people are naturally worried about the competition for the business, which uh, to an extent is near monopoly in this uh, uh, in this thing. Then uh, India Bulls Housing, which is again in the NB. Uh, Asian Paints has fallen by about 3.1 percentage and uh, Asia Motors which is part of the um, automobile stock, even though the automobile stocks have done very well, this uh, um, Asia Motors has uh, fallen by about 2.94 percentage. So these are the stocks that has moved and shaked in the last uh, uh, in the last uh, uh, week. So how about, uh, so what is in store for the next week? So what are the big things that happen in this week is that two things that uh, we have already discussed, but these are the major events that uh, kind of shaped how the market uh, uh, ended up with this week. One is that uh, US core inflation, that has come down by uh, 0.1 percentage. That was a huge uh, uh, relief for all the people who were uh, expecting the inflation to be on the little on the high side and uh, uh, they are going wrong and uh, this is one of the things that is going to drive the market sentiment for 
forcible time uh, till such time as there is going to be one more uh, measurement of the uh, price inflation till such time this data is going to drive the market for a while and the other one is that uh, in the locally uh, our imports is retail uh, returns and then tcs returns and uh, these are the things that uh, shown it companies in a good light and uh, that boosted the it companies stocks that index by about the uh, uh, 3.5 percentage so these are things that has happened and uh, it since we are closing for uh, uh, pongal celebration here in tamil nadu and in your place there will be a lot of uh, each uh, state has its own uh, harvest festival so from zebu we wish you all uh, uh, a very happy uh, festival holidays and uh, when the market opens we wish you a good profitable trading for uh, uh, next week so till next week next time till we next time we till we meet next time this is rishma signing off for zebu thank you